welcome to this very special edition of the Fast Lane Car. And as you can tell, we're at the Chicago Auto Show, and I am excited to be here. How about you, Nathan? It's great. This is a really good show. In fact, it's one of the largest auto shows per square foot in the world. I can't help but feel like we're missing something. Yeah, Sarah. Uh, Sarah decided not to show up, I guess. She was supposed to be here like an hour ago. Where is she? I have no idea. Can you go look for her? Now normally I would do this with Sarah, but she's lost somewhere at this massive Chicago Auto Show. So I guess it's just me and Nathan. The car behind me, the Fiat 500, that's the shortest car here. Well, at least by three inches because that's how much shorter it is in a Mini. So the question is, does Nathan fit? Let's find out. You fit, Nathan? Buongiorno, I fit a little. Hey Nathan, this is Nissan. I mean, that's a Leaf back there, and Nissan builds a Leaf, right? Yeah, yeah, it's all Nissan. Yeah, I think Sarah said to be here at Nissan. Maybe she got it confused that she's at some hybrid or something like that, or or Starbucks, you know, or Starbucks. That's where I'd be. <laughs> anyway, as you recall, I got to drive this not too long ago, and this is the first affordable all-electric car that you can buy today. But, uh, but we got a chance to drive the Tesla Roadster S this video clip you're about to see. Here I am with Nathan and we've just picked up the Tesla. We're gonna take it to Estes Park through the canyon and see how the car drives. One of the crazy things about this car is that it's really tiny. Really tiny. <laughs> You've got two guys who are both six feet tall trying to get in a Tesla and Luckily, me and Nathan like each other because, uh, you know, this would not be a good car if you did not like each other. I wore my deodorant today, so I want you to know that I'm good showered and clean. Good job, Nathan. How much horsepower does the motor put out? So the horsepower in this car, is, in the sport version, is 288, uh -huh. about 296 foot-pounds of torque. Okay. Which is what the what's so impressive when you drive this vehicle. Now, Nathan is about to go up to Netherland, which is a nice canyon where we get to try to test this car out, and he's about to put his foot down in it. <laughs> I, know, I know you're a little white knuckle there, but a <laughs> little thing I turned the steering wheel off. <laughs> the road is uh, icy and slush covered, and with changing conditions and with summer tires on this car, it's uh, you know it's not the best of condition. Hey Nathan, uh, you know it's pretty snowy out there right now. What do you think will happen if I turn off this uh, TC button? Don't, 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 don't. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no,
driving it hard like we would get about 150 miles uh, and as you can tell the car certainly certainly gets a lot of attention the guy was driving this car would he look sexier in this car than in like a honda civic yes 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 would this would this be <laughs> the kind of car that might might entice you um yes maybe yeah yes but then the people that drive this car tend to be pompous also so i try and avoid those people uh, so, so there there is a downside there is a downside to, to driving a hundred and fifty eight thousand yes, dollar car yeah. Yes, uh, yeah even though it's electric i know even though it's electric <laughs> you know tourists from around the country come to estes park colorado to see the elk they go to Rocky Mountain National Park, but they should be going to the Estes Park Brewery because the elk aren't stupid. That's where they're at. We're back in uh, extended range mode because we've used about half the battery. Just a little bit over half the battery is left right now. And we've got about, I'd say, oh, 50 miles or so before we get back to Boulder. But I think that's certainly uh, something we can do without too much fear. Yet, we're a little worried, aren't we, Nathan? We're a little worried. Yeah. I got, I got my, my thumb ready for hitchhiking, just in case. What do we put on, 90 miles? What, what's your bottom line on this car? I've driven a lot of uh, cars. I'm a gas-powered guy, and I'd still rather shift myself. I'd still rather hear the engine, but it's fast, it's dangerous, which makes it a good sports car. Um, and other than a couple little flaws, it's kind of tight, but it's a sports car. It's uh, expensive, but it's a sports car. It's great. Okay, uh, we lied. There is a car smaller at the Chicago Auto Show than the Fiat 500. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, we're in it. We're, we're inside. And it's, comfortable. Yeah, it's nice. You actually got a lot of uh, legroom, a lot of headroom. So what do you guys think it is? So if you guessed 2011 Scion IQ, you're absolutely right. But... Does Nathan fit? In the front, of course he does, but how about the back? Yeah, I, I do, barely. But the problem is, is that um, you have to be pretty small in the front for me to fit in the back. It's considered novel by uh, Toyota and Scion. It's considered comical and painful by me. Can you get out, Nathan? That's the question. Oh, yeah. And did you break anything? No, 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 no. Everything's intact. And you? No. You're intact too? Oh. Hi, I'm Nathan Adlin with TFL Car, and I'm sitting inside the 2012 Camaro ZL1. Basically, Take the Corvette engine, change it a little bit, shove it in here, bigger wheels, better suspension, and you've got yourself one amazing car, potentially. We think it has about 550 horsepower or more. This is a faster car, it'll handle better, and it's gonna probably dominate any other car in its class. Once again, it's what we think we know. This thing is going to be a track star. It's going to be the superstar of the Camaro lineup. This is the fastest Camaro that will have ever been around, and it has uh, incorporated in it all the technology tools that we have um, work at our disposal. And so we felt that it deserved that ZL1 name uh, from the aluminum block heritage and the uh, uh, kind of all in or, or all the performance of technology can fit into a car. Supercharged engine right out of the Corvette ZR1. But more importantly, it has a form of magnetic liquid chemicals that are inside the shocks that harden instantly. It's one of the best suspension systems in the world out of a Cadillac. How's it gonna do in a Camaro? Only time will tell. 
The things that make this a great track car are not only the aerodynamics, but we've uh, taken efforts to keep the mass down where possible. For instance, the wheels and tires are 22 pounds less than the SS counterpart it comes from. So here's the thing about the Camaro. It's always been a fast car in a straight line. Remember the Z28? Well, the ZL1 is going to be even faster in a straight line, but the question is, how will it do when the road gets twisty? This new engine out of the Corvette, it's a monster. It's certainly going to make this car one of the fastest in its class, but how will the car handle? Time will tell. This is one of the biggest stories on the Chicago Auto Show, the new heavy-duty Ram, and Sarah is nowhere to be found. Where is Sarah? I actually looked in the bed of the 3500 to see if she was there crawling yeah, around no, no, or no. sucking down a Java or something like that. She's not there. She's not anywhere. I don't know where she is. So what makes this such a big story, Nathan? 800-pound uh, feet of torque. They can tow up to like 22,000 pounds. It has the best-in-class everything, or nearly. And, you know, there's something that's really important about a big dually. I know, I know, I know what's important about a big dually, and that is in a drag race, will it beat a what? A Hyundai Sonata. That's right, a Hyundai Sonata. Find out in this next mashed up matchup. Watch it right now. Welcome to TFL Cars new feature, mashed up matchup. Basically, we take two cars, run them in a straight line, and see which one's faster. We run what we've brung. As you can probably tell, I've got a crazy big pickup. It's a dually, it's a GMC Sierra 3500, which has a 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel that puts out almost 400 horsepower, and more importantly, almost 800 pound-feet of torque. Is it fast? Well, we're gonna find out. I wonder what Nathan brung. Well, uh, I, I had no idea what he was bringing. That's the whole point of this, is that we don't know. And I thought he would bring like a Camry or something. This is gonna be interesting. So I brought a 2011 Hyundai Sonata. It has a 200 horsepower, normally aspirated engine, and it weighs a little under 3,200 pounds, which is a lot less than this thing. So uh, who's your money on? Nathan, what have we learned today from my victory? That that freaking GMC's fast. Yeah, that's about the only thing we've learned. But it was fun. So join us next time for another mashed up matchup on TFLcar.com. Now behind me right here, see it? That is the new Nissan Juke, which is a very small four-wheel drive car. In fact, so small that I gotta wonder, does Nathan fit? Let's find out. Nathan, do you fit? Uh, not, not really. Nathan, you look kind of uncomfortable. I feel kind of uncomfortable. Why don't we get you in the front seat so you can tell us about the car. Sounds good to me. Yo, dude, have you driven this thing? Yes, I have. I've actually driven three different models of the Juke, and I'll tell you something. Don't let the outside fool you. This has a turbocharged four-cylinder engine. That comes standard. And you can get a six-speed manual for front-wheel drive or a CVT, which I normally hate, for all-wheel drive. But this thing is surprisingly fast and a lot of fun to drive. And it has an interesting rear differential system that's optional, and it is really sophisticated. This is a great car. It really is. The 
This may seem like a strange story, but perhaps the most interesting car at the Chicago Auto Show is this old Rolls Royce. What makes it so interesting? Well, if Nathan will show you, you can tell that it's been pretty much well demolished. And that's because it survived, as you see it, Hurricane Katrina. A barn find. Well, not really, but a house find. What happened was that this car was given as an engagement present, and 50 years later, Hurricane Katrina came along, knocked down the house, knocked down the garage, and this Rolls Royce remained. The owner restored everything mechanically, but kept the outside as it was left after Katrina. I mean, look at it. There's such a wonderful story, such wonderful history. And because this was an engagement present, that signified more than just a car. This, to me, is the most interesting car at the Chicago Auto Show. So as you can tell, Nathan and me aren't the two smallest guys at the Chicago Auto Show. All right, Nathan isn't the smallest guy at the Chicago Auto Show. And here we are comfortably seated in the Fiat 500, which is coming to a Fiat dealership near you. What do you think of this car, Nathan? It's great so far. It's, 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 I don't know what it is about fat guys loving small cars. I mean, we're in the middle of a damn show. We're in Chicago, for crying out loud, and it feels sporty. It feels fun. I'm happy with it. The only other car that does that is the Mini Cooper, and that's the only other car that does that. So I can tell you right now, you're going to like this car just by sitting in it. Yeah, and you know what? The great thing about this car is it's inexpensive. I think it's going to start at around 16000 Of course, getting one for that is going to be, well, you know, the usual game. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you pay for style and you pay for Italian style. Italian style, and i got to tell you something. The multi-air engine in this, all my buddies overseas say it's fantastic. And Nathan fits, and so do I, but the question is, do three people fit? So we got Geraldine back there. Hey. To help us out. And Geraldine, how do you fit? I fit perfect. And I got big heels on, so. It's not the stock exhaust. Uh, is it that obvious? Yeah. <laughs> One badass ride. <laughs> this is badass. It's a 2012 Dodge Charger SRT8, 465 horsepower, makes 465 pound feet of torque. All right, uh, everything, everything in this car is built for speed and handling. Even the wheels are made to like a turbine to ventilate heat from the brakes. There's a huge scoop, but it's a reverse scoop on the hood. It actually helps with downforce and dissipating heat. That's crazy, man. Look at that backward scoop. For 
2012, we have a brand new SRT steering wheel. So you got paddle shifters and a flat bottom steering wheel? Yep, the paddle shifters also um, have a sport transmission calibration that when you're in paddle shift mode, it'll hold gears longer and gives you a more aggressive shift schedule. Yeah, it's got a five-speed automatic transmission, but uh, they say it's going to be one of the fastest, most technologically advanced Dodges that are currently in the lineup. I believe the top speed's around 175 miles per hour. Trust me, this is going to be one of the fastest four-door sedans available in America. And with four doors, you can go 175 miles an hour and bring the family along. That would be a winning combination, huh? Yeah, you can bring the kids with, so their little faces will get stuck to the back, and then, like, you know, the G-forces will tear their cheeks away. It'll be great! I love this car. I've been waiting for this car for so long. I get mine in about three months. So one of my favorite parts of this is a little bit of technology on these massive red Brembo brakes. What happens is when you're driving in the rain, the brakes will actually squeeze the road a little bit to knock off all that extra moisture to make sure that when you need the brakes, they're there and ready to grab. You know, one of the really cool things about this car is the way it sounds. I was lucky enough to have the Dodge Boys start this bad boy up. Let's listen to it. When you're just cruising down the road, that adaptive suspension really helps. Our new steering wheel. Nice and thick, I see. Nice and thick. Yeah. You know, it's very aggressive. It's a very comfortable car. You want the power. It's right there. I, I mean, the, the styling of it, I think, is gorgeous. Everything that's just standard on this car, I just think, all comes together. Just to, one day it might be the performance page is my favorite. The next might just be the seats. It's just an awesome car. So if you want a car that's capable of taking the family, the dog, the kids, up to 175 miles an hour, you can get it. It'll be on sale toward the end of this year. Roman Micah, reporting for TFLcar.com. All right, so here I am again at one of the smallest cars at the Chicago Auto Show. The mini countryman, and I have no clue where Sarah is. Hey, hey, Sarah! Hey. Hey. Where have you been? Oh, I've been to Nissan, I've been to Dodge, I've been to Ram. I That's haven't seen you anywhere. We've been to Nissan, Ram, and Dodge as well. Well, you're here now. Here I am, here I am. So, the important question, of course, is... Does Nathan fit? Does Nathan fit? Yeah, it's not too bad. You fit? Yeah. He, he fits. He fits. For Nathan, Sarah, and myself, thanks for joining us from this very special edition of the Fast Lane Car from the Chicago Auto Show. Say goodbye, Nathan. Goodbye, Nathan? Yeah, goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.